Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. It's me alone, solo adventuring sunrise. And I'm definitely almost at the top, and then I've only got to go. Right, we, we did that track up. Now it goes into this track. It hasn't been too hard at the moment. Just a little bit of heat. Made it to the top of Castle Hill, and now there looks like there's a few. Does that look out? This guy's gonna be that way, and that might be. Because we've come all the way to the top, I've decided to do all three. So there's the radio wall, which is only 235 meters, and it's where I am. The pillbox wall, 125 meters. Walk 180 and then that's when I came up. Kind of glad it's overcast. Otherwise, that sun will be hitting right up here. So beautiful though. So, this one's to do like a Raider Hill GT. Now the other side of the tower. That's the airport. Right. That's Magnetic Island. Right. Magnetic to the other side. I was thinking of going down that track, but I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> I think it's there, and that's where I was at the foot. I think that was cool. Okay, I will have a head out. I'm not looking out. There. You can see that. You can drive up here, and then just do the three walks. If you don't want to walk up one of those tracks, like I did. And eight minutes off and top back. Car park's looking full. Sanded and primed, and uh, did all the chip repairs and all that. It's actually looking pretty good. After the primer, it almost doesn't need to be painted. No, it does, but like <laughs> from a distance, you can barely even notice it's still rusted. I mean, I de rusted it and uh, sanded it and painted it with the primer, but you know, you can still see that. It has remnants of rust. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. I even like repainted the tops of those because they were getting all flaky and gross looking. And yeah, I gotta do a little bit there. But it's not too bad, definitely needs a bit more. It needs actual paint. But yeah, it was a lot of paint chips and there's still a lot. I think I can get rid of this one. But yeah, it'll, I think it'll shine up nicely once I'm, once I'm done. Yeah! Look at the size of this bug. Fly! Ah, oh, it's dead. Alligator Creek Falls. I know this video feels random, but nice. Right, I'll show you what it does.
Boop. Just closes that little thing. That's it. Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. That wasn't too hard. Now don't have to replace shit. Nice. This is so funny. So this car only came with 1K. And I was just tightening this, because this is a really weird place, but this is where they put the jack. And I, I saw like, it looked like the end of a key in there. I like reached in, grabbed it. Oh, there's something else in there. What's that? It's probably just trash. And when I reached the key, it was the spare key. I just, I think. I mean, it's probably got a dead battery, but that is. Oh yeah, let's see if it, see if it fits. All right. <laughs> That's so good. We just got a spare key. That is so funny. I, like, we should tell her. That's so good. She would have been like, I lost it. I have no idea where it is. She's, we're like, oh, it only comes with one key. That sucks. That's amazing. How good is that? I just found the spare key. I found the spare key, Nate. <laughs> it's in the car the whole time. So this door is pretty messed up. Turn the flashlight off. Um, you can't completely get rid of it, but with a lighter, you can lessen it. I'll show you. See that? Lessens it. Like this little bit here, that'll probably get pretty good. Look at that. Fairly lessened. Looks a little bit better. Can't get rid of them, but you can make them not as bad. So this will probably look a bit better. Getting low on gas. Just takes all the burrs off. And the scrapes. Yeah, there's a little hack for you. Check it out, all steam clean. This is as good as it's gonna get. Okay. Pretty good. I wonder if it still smells like chocolate. It's pretty good. It could be better, but we're working with what we got here. Still got to give the inside a bit of a scrub down. And the uh, last bit of epoxy is done. Uh, you could probably see I over, over sprayed a little bit. It's got a little bit of a lump. Well, you can't feel it, but you can see it. So it's there. So I'm going to have to sand that down a little bit. And then I'm going to have to paint it. Do the good old paint paint. Not super keen for that, but you got to do what you got to do. Good morning. Second sunrise of hike of the week, and this is where I'm going today. Uh, Mount Louisa Summit. Says it's 3.5 round trip to the summit, class three. Well, let's get on it. I just reached the part where it's. I think it was like 1,000, 1,000 something steps up, or you can go this way. So this way is supposed to be like the gradual way up, but you can take steps, so I'm sure I'm going to go up the steps and then probably come back that way. And that's Castle Rock. And this is about how far it says. Of this. <laughs> you have made it. I'm get up this rock. One and sixty meters. You can't even see castle. Oh no, you can in the distance. Rocks over there. And get this view. Maybe not as good as Castle Rock. So I'm heading the other way back down, which is supposed to be less says, but there's definitely just as many. And we have made it back down. And it's pretty much the same, it's just over an hour. Okay, 58 minutes to the top and back. And I did the full loop, which was 3.5 k's. 
Well, there's something going on with my unicycle. There's some black stuff down there. No idea what that is. Let's take it apart and find out. Well, shit. What the hell happened here? It's working fine. But, like, that does not look good. I might check those MOSFETs to make sure they're good. Oh, look at that. It, look, it looks like... Oh, it totally did. Look at that. I reckon that little bit there, see that line? It looks like that arced across. Like, it must have shot across there somehow. Maybe the solders were too close to the solder was too close together or something and it just... Something, something happened. What the hell? Check out this quality. I just push the uh, spring back up with my fingernails and the housing, the chrome chrome housing ooh, where am I? the chrome housing if I can get this is uh, flaking off as you can see that so I don't know if that's uh, conductive which it probably is but the chrome housing is flaking off, see that? and it looks like the spring broke from me just pushing it up with my fingernails like, what the hell? Oh yeah, look at that. More housing breaking off from the bottom. That is dodgy as. So hopefully the T4 is all good now that I've cleaned it out. So yeah, it looks like there's like little bits of springs and such that can, that like um, hold in the motor cables. And they like, uh, as soon as they're moved or I don't know if they get warm or whatever. Either way, they've got chrome covering on them and the chrome flakes off. And I'm guessing that may have been one of the things that, um, that possibly helped short it out when I got dropped that time. There was also um, a couple of chunks of solder stuck to the underside where the, uh, the thermal paste like touches the thing. So I don't think Max, when he owned this, he ever opened up it at all because he didn't have any issues. So I think when I opened it up to put this thing in, I had to unscrew the screws and that like lifted it up and that might have like freed a few things around. Why is my phone like sketching out at all? But um, yeah, so that may have like freed a few things that were stuck in there, like little loose bits of crap. And when I tightened it back down, there were like loose bits of crap still in there. Because like, when I did all the soldering for this, I had all this closed. Like I soldered it all, and then all I did was do the twist tie connection. So there's no little bits of, um, what's it called, like cables or anything like from me cutting. So I think that's probably what it was from me loosening it and then retightening it. But yeah. Either way, that's a bit sketch, but um, yeah, it's all cleaned out now. And I found lots of little fine bits of uh, bits of crap also from like when it's been tightened. It's like puts little bits of aluminium and such around. So like when I put it all together, I blew it all out with like a leaf blower and then I connected it up. So any little bits that were in there hopefully have been taken out now. But anyway, so these are a few little, little mod things I'm doing now. So as you can see, this one is like straight and then goes down. I'm still gonna like suction that down just so it's looks a bit nicer but yeah and this one goes up and then down so this bit actually is like not touching on my leg it just touches like my leg just touches like this bit so I kind of want it to like touch like that bit so it's like ass and then my leg touches that whole bit and then goes down just a bit more a bit more contact point for a bit more comfortability so yeah I'm just doing that now Nate's getting a hair done and we're gonna have a bit of a date day but yeah I figured I got a bit of time might uh Customize this a little bit more. Just do it. I'm turn the flashlight off. Now you just got her hair done. Give me a spin. Looks good. And this is the thing she got because she's going to pink. She better record a little bit. It says um, all the dates. Oh yeah. And you'll be going to this one. 12th of the 3rd? Th Melbourne? Oh, 24th. No. It's not even there. What, well, Townsville? No. Melbourne's here. The 12th of the 3rd. Or the 13th of the 3rd. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah, there it goes. The 20, 23rd of the second, yeah. or 24th of the second. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's nice. And what are we doing today, Nay? Date day. Date day. Woo! Good idea. Right, yeah. Look good. I like it. They did a good job. Having a date day, going on a bit of a ride, and we're trying to outrun the, the rains just there, as you can see. 
and it looks like the corner is like oh, Townsville is not going to get hit, but like where we are is going to get hit. So if we can just get a little bit further up, we should just dodge it and it won't catch us. And we'll get the, uh, the slightly clearer skies. So we've got a bit, a bit of a boogie on and we should uh, should avoid it. And it's, it's been good. Hopefully the, uh, I won't get any cutouts now that I've cleared all the crap out of it. Because yeah, it's not great, the amount of loose metal bits. We're totally escaping. Look, the mountains just disappear into the rain. Oh yeah, no more drops on us. So I think we've, I think at this speed, we've definitely outrun it. I think we're sweet. Although her brand new hair, well, we didn't make it. We made a wrong turn and we definitely didn't outrun it now. It is absolutely pouring. God damn it, so close. Well, May said, fuck it. He's like, I'm just gonna ride. It's a lot of rain, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm waking out. Oh. If we were more purpose, we think we are. That's pretty wet. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a lot of moisture. Oh, my hands are no, your hair's soaked. You were dry for a while. Oh, well, it is what it is. That's a lot of rain. Jeez, look at this gutter. Woo. Well, we didn't make it. We almost outrun it. We didn't make a missed turn. All right, let's have a look. See if um, my little weather, po my little weather thing worked or not. Yep. Please don't be soaked. Oh my god. It's a little wet, but it's totally alright. Yeah, it's just a little damp. That looks okay. Considering how much that was raining, that's pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. When you make yourself at home. Quite a bit of oh, actually, quite a bit of water on the trail, but it's not raining at the moment. Yeah, and I kind of dried my shirt and everything out. Yeah, his dress, I tried to dry it a little bit, so it's not sticking to it, which is good. Yeah, we just kind of ride like around. It's pretty nice. I did this uh, on a night ride, one of the nights, except for I um, I did the racetrack instead of this bit. So I'm kind of filling in a few blanks that I didn't do with me, which is good. I really want to show you because this is a really nice. Uh, not this bridge, but the next bridge. That's a really nice area. Sure, even though it's terrible. Just from that little bit of rain, this was totally dry before. Yeah, just stick to the left, you'll be right. I know, it was totally dry before. I love the way the scooter just like shoots it out of the sides. It's pretty cool. I'm staying fairly dry.